Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to pass parameter with the help of query params. Here I have created this project and in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken go router dependency, which is having the latest version as 6.2.0. Now in the leaf folder here, I have created a file named as root names dot dot. It contains two variable dashboard and profile having the value as dashboard and profile. Now in the main dot dot, you can see that the main method is calling the run app, which is calling the my app widget, which is extending the stateless widget. And this router config is taking the go router object, which I have created here. Here I have created two routes. The first one is having the path as slash. This means for the slash path, this dashboard page will open. And for the profile path, this profile page will open. Now in the leaf folder here, I have created a file named as dashboard dot dot. This file contains a elevated button in the center, having the text as profile. My requirement is that whenever I will click on this button, I should move to the profile page. Okay. Similarly, the profile page contains a elevated button in the center, having the text as dashboard means whenever I will click here, I should move to the dashboard page. Now from here, if you want to move to the dashboard page, then we can simply write context dot go named. And after that, here I will write roots name dot dashboard because I want to move to the dashboard page. Correct. Now let me move to the dashboard page. Now here I want to move to the profile page. So I will write context dot go named and here I will write routes roots dot sorry. It will be root names dot profile and while calling this page, I want to pass some parameter and that parameter I will pass with the help of query params. So here I will use query params, which is an object here. It will take the key. Let me give the key as name and let me give the value as Amar, which is my name. Correct. Now let me move to the main dot dot in the main dot dot here while calling this profile, I need to pass the parameter which has been passed from here. So first of all, I need to receive the parameter here and to receive the parameter here, we need to use state dot query params. And after that, the key, the key is name. As you can see, the key is name and to this profile page constructor here, what I will do here, I will create string username and here call require this dot username. So here I need to pass this named parameter that is username. Okay. And this variable needs to be declared as final. Now, whatever value received in this username, because from here, whatever value received in this query param that will be passed to this profile page username variable and whatever value received here that I will print here. So welcome. And after that, here I will use username. Now let me do a hot restart. Now let me visit the output here. You can see the dashboard page is opening, having the button as profile. Now, whenever I will click here at that time, see the profile page is opening and in the app bar, welcome Amar has been displayed. Similarly, whenever I will click on this dashboard, we should move to the dashboard page. This is how we can pass parameter with the help of query param. Thank you so much for watching.